Growing up at Chimwevi was a unique experience. We're very family oriented um, and with that uh, reservation life comes a lot of traditional knowledge, a lot of uh, knowledge of the ecosystem, the water, the plant life. I grew up practicing the art of Chimwevi basket weaving. The Chimwevis were known for the beauty and the artistry of their baskets. And there's not just one style of baskets, and there's winnowing baskets, and beater baskets, and baskets to catch fish with, and watertight baskets. But really, around the turn of the century, they began to just become collector's items, form of chimney. And each of the people that you see here today, most of them have an incredible basket weaver in their lineage. We work in particular with plants found along the Colorado River which are willow and devil's claw. This is devil's claw and it's the, the block in the baskets that create the designs in the basket. So we're just sorting it. The seeds, the seeds are edible. I remember growing up, we had a big bag of seed and uh, you just peel them like a sunflower seed. We're working on a small starter basket. And we start with willow and do at least five rows. And it's also woven clockwise, which is usually how a left-handed person would weave. And that's how you, oftentimes collectors will know it's chimwavious because it goes clockwise, like time. So I've done with the willow and the design work is done in devil's claw. And we get it a little bit wet so that they will bend with the curve of the basket and then we'll wrap with the devil's claw. And for each stitch, you have to prepare a thread, if you will, of either devil's claw or the willow, the white willow or the river willow, sometimes they call it, uh, to create the uniform stitch that Chimwebees are known for. You pull them through these old tins, which when you poke a hole on them, on the other side becomes very sharp and you can size the piece down. So you get it wet and you pull it through. And then you go to the next size down and you pull it through and you'll begin to shave the pieces off. And you size it down continuously until you have the same uniform stitch as you had with all of the other ones. I don't know what they used before the metal tins but uh, they've been using these for at least, you know, over a hundred years. So I hope the tradition survives, but there's not very many basket weavers left.